When would you use our Aviva telemetry server communications driver? One, you are connecting to geographically distributed assets. Two, you need to leverage industry protocols such as DMP3 and Modbus that are required to connect to such equipment that is in geographically distributed locations. You have just installed telemetry server and the first thing that you'll notice is that there's a default sample group here that points to telemetry server examples. In this video, we'll show you why we have placed those examples here for you. Let's take a look at the folder where those examples are placed. You will notice that you have six sample files for DMP3, six sample files for Modbus, and a couple of PDF documents. Each of these sample files represent a connection strategy that you will use in a particular scenario. As an example, if you're in a wired network, either a local area network or wide area network, you will likely use the first connection. Now, if your network requires you to go for TCP over radio, if you're leveraging radio devices to connect to your field equipment, then you will use the TCP IP over radio configuration. Likely, as we move down the list, you'll see that we go from TCP over serial if your devices are over, uh, let's say, Ethernet to serial bridge devices. If you are connected lyrically using serial COM ports on your hardware, whether it's RS-232 or 485, you use this configuration. If you are using on-demand connections to the field devices, whether you're using modem or network, you will use the modem dial-up connection or the on-demand connection. I'm going to go ahead and import these configuration files. It'll take me a bit of a minute and we'll come back with a video once they are imported. All right, I imported the uh, six configuration files for the MP3. So let me go ahead and maximize the screen so we can get uh, more real estate to look at it. First, you will notice that each one has uh, a almost identical configuration. Within each project, each one has a readme section or a readme group. If I expand the readme group, it will give us some details for that particular configuration to guide you again as you use this. Not only will it give you a little bit of information, but it will give you also the maximum that you would use in, in a particular case. So that is the readme portion. If, if we look at, uh, let's say, TCP over radio, it will give you a slightly different information and so on and so forth for all the configurations. Now, you also notice that for each configuration, we have two regions and a template group. Each region is comprised of a channel, an outstation set, and individual outstations. So we're, we're, we're trying to mimic a geographically distributed configuration where you have two main regions and each region having some subset of equipment within it. Similarly, region two has the channel, the outstation set, and each outstation. Within each outstation, we will have the device itself plus some sample I.O. within each. Now, to keep the configuration uh, consistent, uh, we leverage the template capability in uh, Telemetry Server. That will be described in a different video. So the, really the main differences that we want to capture in this video is the reason why or how we would configure things differently. Typically the differences rely in three parts of the configuration. The channel, the outstation set, and the outstation object itself. As an example, if I open the direct channel here in the, uh, for the direct wired LAN 1 connection, one of the things that we will have to pay attention here is the connection type, its configuration, and whether the con connection is dependent or independent. Similarly, the scan parameters will play a role here. Now, what we have done to make this simpler for you is creating this PDF table files, which shows each one in some level of detail, so you can walk through the typical things that you need to pay attention for when configuring such device. So if we zoom a little bit in the table, you will notice that for each one of them, we depict what are the typical settings that you would use. 
Now keep in mind that the settings here are sample settings, they're typical, but you have to pay attention to your specific configuration. Uh, as I mentioned before, if I'm using a wired connection in on my network, I will pick independent connections. If I'm using TCP over radio, I will use dependent connections, so I wouldn't check that box. Similarly, in a wired connection, you're going to have greater network speed, your battery will be higher. If you're using radio equipment, you have to actually match the capability of the radio, so you will pick a battery that it uh, applies to your radio. And we walk through the whole thing, considering the uh, outstation sets, the outstation, and the channels themselves. We also want to pay attention to the modem configuration. The modem is a little unique because you actually have to use scheduling in your configuration. So we also have a, a, included an example. Let me show that here in telemetry server just real quick. So if I was to pick an on-demand connection to my devices, here's some of the tails and the readmins. We actually have to add now modems as channels instead of our typical connection. And in addition, we have to consider how we are going to connect to those field devices. So in the case of modems, we have to create a schedule, when to dial to the device and retrieve the data back. So this is just a high level picture of uh, why we're giving you the sample files. I hope this is useful and uh, you can enjoy and start using your project. Thanks for watching.